The use of Hamilton County credit cards was front and center today in the trial of Judge Tracy Hunter, specifically when they can and can't be used. Now, on your side, Tom McKee has covered this case extensively, and he's live with why that question is so important. Tom? Well, Carol, one of the charges against Judge Hunter is she used her county issue credit card to pay filing fees for appeals when she was sued. Now, there were differing opinions emerged today in Judge Norbert Nato's courtroom here on whether that's proper or not. There was just one witness on the stand Tuesday, Ray Fowler of the Hamilton County Public Defender's Office. He took both sides of the issue. Those differing answers emerged under defense and prosecution questioning. He sued Judge Hunter 18 times for allegedly failing to keep her court docket current. And it was appeals over that issue that she's accused of using the county credit card for. So if a credit card was used for a filing fee, that money would come from the county also, right? If it was a county credit card? Yes, the county would pay for it, correct? Yes. So the money's coming from the county regardless, correct? Yes. When you have been sued as the public defender, that also is part of your job description, is it not? Yes. But does that allow you, even though it's part of your job description, to intervene in the litigation? No. Does it allow you to charge your personal filing fees to the, to the uh, county? No. Now, that testimony came after a special prosecutor, Scott Croswell, got a surprise in the case. A three page motion filed by Judge Hunter asking Judge Norbert Nato be removed from the case because, among other things, he's biased against her. Judge Nato immediately dismissed it and continued with testimony. Still to come uh, for the prosecution will be Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieters and the other juvenile court judge, John Williams. Tom McKee, not on your side, live downtown.